Hi, this is Lisa Allen, and in this video I just wanted to revisit a plugin that I had reviewed earlier, and the plugin was the Cyclone Slider 2 plugin, which you can see here in this post. And the reason I'm going to revisit this particular plugin is that the developer contacted me after my review uh, last time and thanked me for reviewing the plugin. And he's just contacted me again and let me know that they've added some really nice new features to the plugin. And he just wondered if, if I would be willing to review it again. And since it's a really nice plugin and the developer's a really nice guy, I'm going to talk to you about this plugin again. So you can see here, if we go to the very last slide, that one of the new features that they support now is videos. And so you can actually embed videos directly in your slideshow. It's not just about images anymore. And these kinds of slideshows are really, really easy to create. I'm just going to go over here into my demo blog and show you what it looks like now. So let's go to edit this demo slideshow. And you can see you've got this slides are defined separately and you can open each one and change the link URL where the link goes to. You can choose whether it should open in the same window or a new tab or window. And you can define the title which shows up across the bottom of the slide and the description if you fill it in. You can also, and this is really helpful for SEO, you can also specify the alt text that should appear with the image and the top the title text of the image and then of course you've got individual transitions that you can enable for each different slideshow or you can use global transitions for the whole slideshow so that the same settings will be used for each one and in order to add another slide when you add one you can see that you can choose from an image a video or a custom and if you choose video then you have a place to put your embed code or you can just use the video URL if it's on YouTube or Vimeo. And for custom, you can actually write your own HTML in here. And this is great if you have individual images that you want to really restyle the text a little bit for yourself. Or maybe you want to put a little gallery of images in here. So it's really nice that you can do a custom HTML and insert it as a slide in amongst other images. And you can mix different media types in your slideshows. And now if you move down a little bit further you can also see that there are templates now that he didn't really have before but he has added a number of really nice templates so you can change the look and style of the slideshow and if you see this last one it's actually got a thumbnail navigation instead of the standard navigation which is really really nice now if you click the get more templates button he does have some premium templates over on his website that you can purchase however he really hasn't left you hanging with the five that he's given you to start with. So it's, it's, I know that sometimes people who are going to do a premium version will really, really scale back and the light version will be practically crippleware. But these templates that he's given you by default are actually really nice. And so, you know, you can go and get some more templates, but you really probably won't have to unless you want to do something really special. And if you go into the widgets section of your theme, you'll notice that once you have this plugin installed, You've also got a Cyclone Slider widget, which you could drag over into one of your widget areas. And you can just pick a slideshow and then save it. And that slideshow will then show up in your sidebar, which means that you can really display these slideshows just about anywhere you like. So that's it for this review, revisitation of the uh, Cyclone Slider plugin, which I really, really like. So congratulations to the developer. He's made a really, really nice plugin. And because the plugin itself is totally free, you really just can't beat the price. Go ahead and grab this and stick it on your site and use it to drive more visits and more engagement with your posts. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.